Instead of using functions like left, find, and search to clean data, you should try using regex functions as they're far more versatile. For example, you can extract email addresses from any sentence, mask sensitive numbers with X's, and even check if phone numbers have exactly 10 digits. So let me show you how to use regex functions in Excel. If you have a Microsoft 365 account, as soon as you type regex, you'll notice that we have three different functions available. First, we'll go over the reg extract, which extracts part of a cell. For example, here in the message area, suppose that we want to extract the number and add it to the side, but it's a bit tricky as sometimes we have words in front, other times we have words after, and even something in between too. And you can download this Excel file for free in the video description to follow along. So let's go ahead and type equals regex in here for the extract one, hit the tab key there. The text is basically all of the area that we want, which is gonna be all the way to the bottom here, comma. And in the pattern that we're looking for, we're gonna add quotations and first add a backdash followed by a D. We can close those quotations, close up parenthesis and hit enter. What I've just said there is D stands for a digit and this backlash is so that it doesn't see it as let's extract the, the letter D, but instead we're looking for a digit. So we put that backdash in there. You'll notice though that right now it only extracts the first digit. So a nine from here, a two from here, etc. And if we want all of the digits, we just need to add a plus sign in the end. Hit enter there. And now you see that it's extracted only the digits even in areas like this one where we have a B at the end, it's been able to only detect the number. That's just a quick preview of the regex function with numbers. And now let's see how it works with text. Here, suppose we're looking to extract the first name from this name column. So we can just put regex tract in here again. The text is gonna be this whole area. And then as the pattern in quotations, you might be able to guess this, but it's a backdash again. But instead of a D, we want a W for a word and we want the whole word, so we're gonna put a plus sign in here as well. Close those quotations and close the parenthesis and hit enter. Awesome, so we've extracted the whole first name. If instead of the first name, we want the last name, it's really just one quick tweak. All we need to do in here is type the same function. This is the whole area again. And now as the pattern, we do the same thing. So it's this backdash, then we do a W, but we want not just the plus sign for everything after that first word, but we also want a dollar sign in here and close those quotations. The dollar sign is basically saying to start from the back. So we're gonna get the Davis word instead this time. We can then hit enter and you can see we have just the last name. At this point, you might be thinking, why not just use something like a flash fill? Surely that's a lot easier to do. And the answer is yes it is, but it comes with some limitations. For instance, right here, suppose we only want to extract the Emma. So I can just type Emma once and then with the flash fill, which is by pressing Ctrl E, you'll notice that we're able to do that for all of the cells. The problem is that this isn't a formula. So if I change from John to let's say Bill here, Bill Smith instead, you'll notice that this one doesn't update. But when we use the regex, this is able to update correctly. Of course, there's still other functions like text before or text after that would have worked in this scenario, but now you know the basics of regex, which means that we can go over some more advanced examples. For example, right here, I want to extract the email addresses from this sentence, but this is kind of tricky as some end in careerprinciples.com, others in apple.com, and we also have some like Amazon that's .co.uk, which makes it quite tricky. So even doing something like getting the flash fill, Let's say I type support at careerprinciples.com here. And then I just press Ctrl E. You'll notice that this isn't working properly. This one down below says go to billing. This one says is space service at Amazon. So this clearly isn't working. Instead, we can use the regex. I've just written the formula in here and you'll notice that it's working perfectly fine. That said, this one is a bit trickier, which is why we looked over the basic ones before. You'll notice here that I have a few different sections with many different symbols, including the plus, the ampersand and dots. For a lot of these trickier ones, the great thing is that you don't even have to make them yourself as you can just use ChatGPT for that. Just in case you want to understand them well though, I have this regex guide that's available for free in the file in the description too. 
The crazy part is that we've only looked at one of three different regex functions that are available. Let's now go over the second one, which is regex replace. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's just going to replace a certain group of text. So regex replace is this one right here. Let's suppose that we have this original text to the side and we want to get rid of this whole limited time offer part. And you'll see that it's in different parts of the sentence. Sometimes it's at the start, other times it's in the middle. So as the pattern, all we need to do is add a comma here and in quotations, we're going to put the actual words. So it's limited time offer. Then put a comma again and there's the option of replacement. So do you want to add anything instead? Let's leave that empty with two quotations and hit enter. Now you see it's gotten rid of that limited time offer. Of course, we can make further changes to this. One is a replacement, like let's say I just say 10 day offer instead, and you'll notice it all updates to that. But other than that, there is some other optional features. You'll notice they're optional because they have these square parentheses. Put a comma in there, and this one's the occurrence. So if you just put a zero here, it means it applies to all instances, which is the default. Comma again, and then we have case sensitivity. If the limited time offer didn't have a capital letter, should it still match or not? Overall though, maybe that wasn't a very realistic scenario of using this function. So let me show you a slightly more advanced one. Right here, we have some raw numbers. So basically some phone numbers. And suppose that we want to extract all of these plus signs, the parentheses, dashes, etc. to create a clean version with just the numbers. So we can type equals regex replace as well. Hit the tab key there. This is the whole text area. And as the pattern here in quotations, we're actually going to put square brackets, add a caret sign, and then 0 9. And I'm going to explain what all of this means in a second. Close those quotations, comma, and as the replacement, I'm going to leave that empty. Hit enter here, and you'll notice that it simply extracts the numbers and removes everything else. Basically, what I've done in here is these square brackets define the type of characters I want to match, which are digits, so from 0 to 9. And then this caret here negates everything else. So it's going to remove anything that's not the 0 to 9 digits. So hopefully you're starting to get an idea of how versatile the regex replace function can be. Let me show you one more, even more advanced example. In here, suppose I have some row numbers that I want to keep confidential. So ideally, I just want to have some X's there. Maybe they're for card numbers, mobile numbers, or IDs. So all I need to do in here is create something like this where I've got the regex replace again, and this time as the syntax, I have this whole area, which is basically saying to put an X unless it's the last three digits. If so, you can leave them as is, which is why we get this nice preview. Before we look at the third function that uses regex, if you want to learn Excel and other in-demand data skills, I'd recommend you check out our data analyst program. It consists of five individual courses and over 300 lessons. First in Excel, you learn the best practices and then apply your skills with real life case studies from data cleaning to building a dynamic financial model. Then in Power BI, you'll dive into data visualization and create interactive dashboards. Thirdly, in SQL, you'll work with larger databases, writing SQL queries, and even connecting databases with applications like Excel and Power BI. Fourth, in Python, we'll start with the basics and eventually advance to analyzing real crime data in LA and even building models to predict housing prices. Finally, in VBA and macros, you learn to automate tasks like generating pivot tables, PL reports, and much more. So click on the link in the description below to get started with our data analyst program today. The final regex function is regex test, which is useful for verifying if things are true or false. So we'll hit the tab key in here. Let's suppose that this whole invoice area is the text that we want. More specifically, we want to make sure the words INV are at the start here. So I can put a comma in here and in quotations, I'm going to say caret INV and then put a dash in the end. Close those quotations, close up parenthesis and hit enter. So the first two are true. We have INV followed by the dash, but this one's already false because it has PO. That makes sense. And then down below, this one, for instance, that still has INV, but it's got the ref at the start is still false. And you might be wondering, why did I add that caret sign here at the start? And that's because I'm saying that it should start with these letters. If I delete this and hit enter, 
You'll notice that down below, this one is now showing as true because it has that INV and the dash. But if I only wanted to start with that, that's why I would add the card sign. If you instead wanted it to end with these different characters, then you could put a dollar sign. And because regex is so customizable, I can create much more complex tests. For instance, right here, I want to make sure that the phone numbers are 10 digits in length. So I can just paste something like this. Here's what I have created. So the regex test is just like before, but in here, what I've done is added a few different digit criteria. And overall, this just means that I need to have 10 digits in there. If not, it's going to be false. This one right here has eight digits, so it's false. And if it's above the 10 digit mark, like let's say this one over here, it's also showing as false. I realize that some of this syntax might be quite daunting, but luckily with the use of AI, it can easily generate this for you. It's ideal if you do know what it says though, so understanding the dollar sign, current sign, etc., as you probably have with this video. Other than regex, Microsoft recently released the new data cleaning button, which allows you to clean data with AI, and you can learn how to use with this video over here, or you can take our Excel course over here. Hit that like and that subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.